Hello and welcome to the new video on disk part manual. This video is about commands and instructions that we can use to manage our disks. Disk management is one of the most important tasks you need to accomplish for better performance and accessibility. There's a specific program in Windows which is called disk management. It has an easy to use user interface and can perform most of the tasks. But what if you can't get that program to work or you want more grasp on your disk management or Windows isn't booting up normally? There are situations where you would need a pretty neat utility which is called Disk Part. Disk Part was first made available in Windows XP and it is still integrated inside the latest version of Windows which is Windows 10. So inside this guide, uh, we are going to explain some of the most useful commands you can use to manage your disk using Disk Part Utility Tool. First, we need to know how we can launch Disk Part. If we have booted into Windows and our windows are working, so we'll press Windows button and press R, or you can press Windows button and type Run. This will bring up the app now once you are in the app you need to type cmd and hit enter once you are in the command prompt type disk part and hit enter if you are prompted with user account control pop-up click on yes you will get another window for the utility So the next thing is, um, which is related to launching this utility, if you are not able to get into Windows or your Windows are not booting up, how we can launch this utility. If you are using Windows 7, the best way is to plug in a bootable Windows 7 USB drive and hit the key when uh, you are starting the Windows. So you can boot in with Windows 7 bootable USB drive. Uh, same applies for Windows 10 or Windows 8. Uh, either you can restart your computer and hold Shift plus F8 key to open the advanced menu or you can have a bootable USB inverted into your computer. The boot menu or boot order should be configured so your computer starts with bootable USB drive. Once you are on Windows installation or repair screen, just press on repair your computer or if you are using Windows 7, you can select Command Prompt from this window. So in, win in Windows 10, in Windows 10, we are going to click on Repair Your Computer. Click on Troubleshoot. And click on Command Prompt. So we are here. Let's type Disk Part and hit Enter. Let's wait for the utility to start. All right. The heart and soul of the disk part utility are the commands used to perform different operations. These commands are case insensitive and can be conveniently utilized to manage your disk. So you don't have to worry about the letters case. So you don't have to worry about the case insensitivity. The first command that we are going to show you here is list a disk. Um, if you want to output a list of all disks currently connected to your PC, this command comes in quite handy as it displays a bunch of information including the total number of disks, status of disk, and size of disk. So in this computer, uh, which is for demo purpose, we have only one disk. So let's say list disk and hit enter. So the output is here. It says there is just one drive and the size and the space which is free in here. So if you want to select a particular disk which is connected to your PC, you can use select disk along with the disk number. Uh, since in this demo machine we have one disk and that is disk zero. So I'll say select disk space 
0 and hit enter so disk 0 which is the only disk I have in this computer is selected the other thing that I can do here is to get more details so detail disk is the command to view complete details about the selected disk it is pretty useful on certain occasions where you need an extensive information about a disk so you type detail disk and then you hit enter so you'll get plenty of information about your disk now here it says there are two partitions uh, on this disk which is C and D both will show you the size of the partitions uh, status of the disk um, is it read only or not is it bootable disk and you know a lot of information that you can get here the next command that we have is to delete the disk so delete this command is used to delete a missing dynamic disk from the disk list this command should be used carefully as it might lead to some serious issues the syntax is pretty straightforward which is delete disk so we recommend to use delete disk command with caution all right so our next command is list partitions if you would like to have a glance at the partition in your selected disk this part has a pretty neat command for that purpose all you need to do is to type list partition in the command prompt and hit enter it would display a list of partitions along with their numbers and sizes so since we have already selected a disk I'll just say list partition and you'll get the information about the partitions on this disk and it will also give you a number now here if you want to do specific task or specific actions on a particular partition you can again have a command which is to select partition and provide a number which is associated with that particular partition in our case we have two partitions so I'll say select partition 2 and hit enter it will select partition 2 uh, from this disk if I want to get more information about this selected partition I'll say detail partition and this will tell me a little bit more information about this particular partition now if you want to delete a partition you can use a command that says delete partition we recommend to use this command with caution because it can cause serious problems this command is used to delete a particular partition that you would like to recreate or for any other purpose next thing that we have here is to list volumes so the command is list volume hit enter and there you can see the volumes attached to this disk it displays all of the volumes available on your computer along with some basic information so I have only three uh, which are listed here again if you want to select a particular volume you can say select volume and provide a number associated with that particular volume in my case I said select volume 2 which is now selected uh, you can then get some more detail about uh, this volume this and you type detail volume hit enter it will show the information about the volumes associated just like previous examples you can also delete a volume once it is selected if you want to delete the volume be sure about it and be cautious the syntax is pretty much same the next thing is to create a volume so I'm gonna say 
create volume pretty straightforward no complex syntax here so uh, you can create a simple volume by using this command that is create volume simple along with few attributes which is size and disk number if you don't specify the size or disk number basic settings will be adopted to create a new simple volume the same goes with create sim create volume stripe and create volume raid uh, there are little bit of differences on the disk so let's talk about the syntax about creating volume create volume is the basic syntax you can say create volume simple you can provide a size let's say 200 or to the space you can provide the disk number same goes for next thing the basic syntax is saying create volume say stripe space size and then you can provide the disk number or you can also provide number of disks same is for RAID space you can provide size and then number of disks you want to create alright so the next command is format it is the most important command that is used inside this part you can format any volume using this command you should first select the volume if you want to format it using uh, format command there are various parameters that you can uh, use to get desired results which are for made uh, space file system you can define NF NTFS you can pr provide a label and you can also pass quick compress parameter uh, to compress the drive accordingly so the next command that we have is to create partition the create partition are um, the create partition is used to create a partition there are various commands dependent on the type of partition that you need to create you can create a primary partition by using the create partition primary command loading the size and offset you can also create extended partitions and logical partitions using the create partition extended or create partition logical commands the syntax is shown on the screen right now the next command that we have is convert MBR to convert an empty disk with GPT partition style to MBR partition style you can use convert MBR command keeping in mind that the disk should be empty otherwise you might lose all of your data the syntax for convert MBR is shown on the screen next command that we have is convert GPT to convert an empty disk with MBR partition style to GPT partition style you can use convert GPT command keeping in mind that the disk should be empty or else you'll lose all your data syntax is shown on the screen last command that we have with us in this video is rescan best advantage of using the disk part utility is the ability to rescan for the input output buses along with any newly added disk to the computer this can be done through a single command called rescan the syntax is shown on the screen so in this video these are just the basic commands that that are mostly used inside the disk part utility i hope this video will be helpful for you thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel